Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody, give him praise, give him honor, give him glory. Hallelujah. Go ahead, press tag, and share. Praise God, praise God. Let's see about this light right here. Seems like sometimes I have on too much light, huh? How you guys doing? All right, still, whatever. So, basically, um, I'm talking about mandates. I actually need that little light. All right, so mandates. I'm talking about mandates. How you guys doing? Haven't been on here for, I guess, a couple of days now. All right, so God was talking to me about mandates. Mandates. What is a mandate? A mandate is doing your calling what you are supposed to be doing and it comes from god it doesn't come from people we have too many people talking about people and don't know their mandate be very careful people i'm getting straight into it be very careful because let me tell you some mandates come from god mandates is something that you are supposed to do before you do anything matthew 6 33 but seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness that's the same thing as a mandate my mandate example is correction but what people don't understand i get corrected first which is dangerous oh y'all not ready for me come on somebody hallelujah when you have a mandate like mine apostolic reformation correction rebuke you know i get it first y'all not ready the warfare is uh, out of this world literally demons <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me hallelujah so you have to be very careful but now it's a twofold twofold mandate you have to do what's right before god and before men come on somebody hallelujah and god will hold you accountable to that thing what am i saying too many people that don't know their mandate what is your mandate your mandate is not to give money your mandate is not to be the best your mandate is not just to be more popular your mandate come on somebody is to serve the kingdom of god and the people of god that's a mandate that's your gift. That's your calling. That's your anointing. Because the mandate much master anointing. What am I saying? Too many of y'all have mandates and no anointing. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The mandate is from God, not from men. Too many people being self-appointed. Too many people are appointing people that don't have a mandate, nor the calling, nor the anointing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. Walk with me. Too many people that's not anointed is in churches, in the pulpits, on Facebook. Oh, come on, somebody. It's lucrative business. So everybody just a gift to gab. Come on, somebody. No anointing. Can I tell you something? That's a dangerous thing. Oh, yes. I'm going to say it like I'm, like I'm saying it. It's dangerous. Because check this out. A mandate will kill you if you are not mandated. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Let me tell you something, how, how sincere this is. There were prophets that died in the Bible because they did not listen to God. A mandate means it's a covenant. It is a requirement. It's accountability. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all think this is a game? Y'all playing. Y'all playing. And I'm, 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 I'm telling you right now what thus said the Lord. Stop playing. This is his people. His people are hurting. People are hurting. You know what they want to see? You know what they want to know? Have you been with God? Have you heard from God? Have you spent time with God? Can you help me? Come on, somebody. A mandate is healing and deliverance and speaking from the heart of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And also, it is to solve a problem. You know, whatever you get mad about, that's your problem. My problem is fake people. Now, listen to what I'm saying. I'm at, let, me, let me say it right. Fake preachers. If you're just in this thing for money, if you're just in this thing for fame, if you're just in this thing to play, if you're just in this thing to con, if you're just in this thing, I have a problem with you. And, and what people don't understand, oh, I'm going, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. There is no such thing as a personal life. I used to think they so too. Let me slow this thing down. There is no such thing as a personal life when you are a public figure. When God has put you before the people, you are accountable personally and publicly. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Example. How you going to say, well, uh, y'all can't tell me what to do with my private life. The devil is a liar. Because when you go before God and you say, God, yes. I say, yes, God. I give you my body, my mind, my soul. Use me, God. That means any time, anywhere, any day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You are accountable to the people and to God. God. Hallelujah to his name. So there's no such thing as separate lives. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Hallelujah. If your character does not match your personal, then you are a fraud. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because we got too many people performing. 
Oh, I feel that spirit. Performing in the pulpits. That's what I call it. Yes, performing in. You performing for money. Come on, somebody. Pay power me. I'm telling you right now. Y'all better stop that foolishness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you are saying that God is using you. Now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all how y'all are lying. If it's the authentic power of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God, he's not going to mention no money. Because guess what? People are on here and they're hurting. They need deliverance. They need affirmation. They need revelation. They're not going to know. I know they need money, but, but you don't understand. God can give you a million dollars. If you are not healed and delivered, you're going to destroy yourself with that money. So you got to be healed and delivered before God can bless you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Otherwise, it is just a mess without a message. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. But too many playing. And this is a thus said the Lord. He said, be very careful of the way you treat my people and the way you present yourself before my people. You see, you kinds and you lying prophets. Oh, there's so many of y'all on here. And I'm going to tell you right now. Don't think that I don't know who you are. I just haven't said and released your name because God haven't told me to. But when God gives me the go ahead, and that's part of my mandate. That's why some people don't like me, and I know it. Let me tell y'all something. I, I got to back up a little. Let me tell you a little personal testimony. When God first started using me in 2012 to say, thus said the Lord, the first person he made me come against was my pastor. And hold on, he rebuked me. The whole church, they laughed, they rebuked me. I remember crying. Oh, God said, tell you this story. I remember crying in the church. And it was a strange woman that held my hand. And all I could do is cry because everybody was saying that I was a liar and that I was I wasn't supposed to talk to Pastor that way and blah, blah, blah. And I almost started believing it. God sent a prophet from Michigan. Now y'all gonna know who I was talking about, the ones that was there. God sent a prophet from Michigan the next month. And let me tell you, because they thought I was a false prophet. They thought I was lying. Oh, come on, somebody. Some people remember this story. And I never forget, I was going to go to church that night. And God said, I don't want you to go. And I didn't. They say that when that prophet got on that platform, he said, wait a minute. Y'all called me away from Michigan. Who's Deanna? Because she's the prophet of this house. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got a hundred and something phone calls the next day. Oh, the, the prophet of God called your name. I said, that wasn't for me. That was for y'all. I know who I am. Ooh, I'm going somewhere because this ain't about me. I'm trying to tell you something. You are affirmed by God first, not by man. You see, everybody got it twisted this, this day and age. You are asking man to affirm you, but you don't understand. Man can just confirm you. They can't affirm you. Only the power of God can affirm you, honey. Hallelujah. Because he said, I bless thee. I give you power to get wealth, health, and the anointing of God. Hallelujah to his name. Be very careful. Be very careful because this here is death to the wrong person. Oh, you ain't ready for me. Some of you, and, and I got to be honest with what God is saying, thus said the Lord. Some of you, and I'm going to tell you how y'all did it. Y'all go on people's pages. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. And you're doing it for money. You're doing it for accolades. You're doing it for, some of y'all just doing it just to say that you can do it. The level of your mandate matches the level of your warfare. That's why some of you going through some stuff right now because you have no clue what you're doing. And them demons whooping you. I'm sorry about that. Somebody had called. Them demons whooping you at night because the level of warfare you can't even handle. Come on, somebody. A lot of you are being called and to do something that God never anointed you to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know why they keep calling. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. But I got to finish this thing. Let me tell you something. You have to be very careful to listen to God. This is about a relationship. It's not about money. It's not about friends. It's not about accolades. It's not about fame. So let's go back. Because I told you that story to tell you this other story. So when I first started out, I, I, I'm not going to say the names, but these are high prophets. And they always gravitating for me because they knew I was authentic. And I remember I was trying to be under them. I really was. And I wanted to be like them. And I remember God said, Deanna, you're going a different way. Oh, come on, somebody walk with me. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I said, God, what you saying? Because I felt it. He said, Deanna, you're going to be like Elijah. You're going to come against things. And I ain't going to lie. I was upset. I said, wait a minute, God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I did a burning back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I said, God, people ain't going to like me. And I never forget, this was in Sacramento one night. Me and God, well, we didn't argue, but I was upset with him because he told me to start calling out people. And, I, and, and he said, what do you do? You love them more than you love me? And I said, God, you know I don't love them. I said, but people are not going to like me. I'm going somewhere because that's why some of you won't stand up. It's like the fake prophets are up and the real prophets are shut up. Oh, come on, somebody. I just said something. I told God that night and I cried. I said, God, I'll do it. I said, but what if they don't like me? He said, long as you don't lie in my name, 
And you say what I said to say, I'll keep you. I'll protect you. I'll show you. Hallelujah to his name. And that's all you need to know to be authentic. Because let me tell you something about a mandate. A true mandate will be tested for the authenticity of it. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, you're going to be tested. Oh, people, and guess what? You might miss it sometimes, but you're going to be tested. You're going to be tried. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Not, not because God know. God already ordained you. He know what you are for the people to know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And how you know? By the spirit of God. He says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and truth. Let me tell you why the church is in trouble. Because most of you are not walking in the spirit and therefore you cannot hear the truth. We are being deceived. When I say we as a body of Christ right now, like never before, people are looking for fame. People are the spirit of attention, the spirit of lying, the spirit of lust, the spirit of deception. Hallelujah. And I rebuke all of it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But let me tell you something. They got a remnant. We don't care about the money. We don't care about the fame. We don't care if we're alone. We don't care. You don't hear what I'm saying. Because we have the power of God. He says, who can stand before you? He said, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. Hallelujah. Too many people playing. This is not the time. And I said this last video. This is not the time to play with God. This is not the time to be a fraud. Because I'm telling you. I see the hammer falling. I see the hammer falling. What do you mean apostle? Everything that is done in darkness shall be revealed. saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you are a fraud you will be found out publicly and privately. Oh I said something. What am I saying? This whole life is about this. If your private life is not in order, saith the Lord, he will expose you. And he said, he's going to make you expose yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Too many people privately doing some nasty, disgusting things, and God is not proud of it. And yet you're in a pulpit talking about, the saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Right all that lying. God going to get you, he said. Yeah, I say that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you just wait for it because sooner or later, sooner or later, I'm going to say it again, sooner or later, because it's not just about you anymore. Everything that you spew out is a spirit. So if you are spewing deception, you must reap deception. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you're spewing out lies, you must reap that everything that you sow, you should reap, said the Lord. Hallelujah. People, let me tell you something. Get close to God in this hour because it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. I know y'all can't stand it, but God bless you. Hallelujah. Things are getting ready to happen and America's not even ready. The church not even ready. Because I'm going to be honest with you and y'all not going to like what I'm getting ready to say. Most of your public high fluting preachers, the famous ones, tell the truth. Are they really anointed? Now before you answer that, I need you to really ask that to God. Are they really anointed? I'm not talking about just have the gift of gab. I'm not talking about have the followers. I'm not talking about have the money. Are they really anointed? Can they pray? Can they lay hands? Can you feel the anointing? Quit playing. Quit playing, thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. So that's all God told me to tell you. Hallelujah, I'm telling you. The remnant, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. No, I'm not T.D. Jakes. I'm telling you what God said. He's getting ready to put some fire because he tired. God said, I am God all by myself. And I'm going to leave you with what he said. And he's been saying this for a long time. He said, my church came in power and we leaving in power. Hallelujah to his name. Stop playing, thus said the Lord. Get it together. And look, let me tell you something. I have been everything but a child of God. I've done everything but a child of God activities. It wasn't until 2012, and I had been walking with God in 1996. It wasn't until 2012 I started getting serious with God. Because I'll be honest with you, God exposed everything and exposed me. Oh, yes, I keep it transparent and real on purpose. I, got, I stopped playing with God. So, you, so I'm not telling you nothing that I don't know. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because you're going to get away with stuff for only so long before God says, Oh, come on, somebody. That grace and mercy, it runs out. Oh, don't let them fool you. The grace and mercy, it runs out. The grace and mercy runs out. And people don't believe that because they don't teach that no more. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.